Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle playing as the Tomb Kings going up against uh, the High Elves. Now, they've done something that I don't really get to see very often. They've actually lightning striked this army. We would have had two armies, but this one here is not showing up on the battlefield. Now, our army here is not as good as, as this one here. Even though it says the balance of power is evenly matched, I guarantee when we get into the battle, it's not. Uh, our Lord is very high level up, so he's immortal, but he does have some really good units in the army, which would be a shame to lose. We do have the option to withdraw, but it, he has got lightning strikes, so then he'll just end up wiping this army out. Anyway, I think it is possible we can win this, but we're not going to walk out of this one without some damage. Let's just do the best we can. We've also got one advantage that he doesn't have. We've got magic. Unfortunately, it's Nehekara magic, which is shit, but I'll do what I can. Well, it's not shit, it's just, it really is underwhelming compared to, uh, say, Law of Light. Alright, we're going to need to stand back as far as possible, I think, to buy ourselves as much time to stuff them around. If we could try to lure, like, the Frostheart Phoenixes or whatever over to us early, that would be really good as well. This army really needs a Tomb Prince. Uh, we can use a control group, even though... Yeah, it's a bit of a meme, but... Uh, does this guy have... Okay, that's good. Very good. It's a pretty balanced Tomb King army, which I would actually advise creating unbalanced armies, but in this case here, it might actually work for us. Alright, stand back to there. Alright, so this spell here, Sakmet. Uh, incantation of the skull storm it's probably one of the cheapest vortex spells in the game but it also barely inflicts any damage if you overcast it it does increase the area of effect but it's still not great might be considering even using this which is also fairly cheap you use that on dragon princes which are actually going to be a big problem in this battle And again, they got a big cluster of themselves right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's hope that actually gets some kills. Oh yeah, it's, it's getting a few. It's getting a few. It's doing some damage. All right, I'm gonna pop this down here. Because that is actually pretty good at dishing out damage to cavalry. And it lasts a good long while. It's kind of like Faded Bajuna, if Faded Bajuna wasn't shit. Because it's too expensive. It's half the price and does about the same amount of damage. So that's actually pretty good. I don't think we've inflicted that many kills with that at all. But that's about a fifth of its health gone, and that is a very dangerous unit on this particular battlefield. The other ones I'm not too concerned with. Are we in position over there and everything? Yeah, we're already good to go. I'm gonna do it again. We're getting close. Oh, he's regenerating. Okay, that's good. I suppose it's, it's super late in the campaign, so you would have got your Mortuary Cult stuff fixed. Bounce of Power is improving slightly, thanks to the magic. Let's see, just want to draw this out as long as possible. Half of its health gone now. But no kills. Sisters of Avalon are going to be a problem. But they've already used up a fair bit of ammo. I need greater effect on speed. That's good. They, they wasted a dragon breath on us. Completely missed. Ready to hold your ground.
Should probably try to aim for their missile units more than the Phoenix Guard. With the um, Cask of the Souls. I think we should try to use them to aim for the dragons and them deal with this over here. Frost Heart Phoenixes. Uh, yeah, we should we should wait until they land, deal with them first. Sunfang. It's gonna hurt. Uh, not that much. Bouncer Power seems like it's okay, but we really shouldn't be taking that into consideration. I'm feeling a lot of pressure at the moment. Did we get rid of a... F we haven't done any damage to the fucking Frostheart Phoenix. They're bogging us down way too much. Okay. It's a decent blob for me there. Doesn't matter if we hit our own troops. I don't think I should cast that. Try to get them to just shoot at whatever. Just shoot at something. Alright, the Dragon Princes seem to have been dealt with. Okay, I'm, I don't know. I feel not too bad at the moment. They, our Tomb Guard are not holding out very long. That'll at least keep them tied down for a little bit. Still fighting this goddamn Frost Heart Phoenix here. The dragon's gone, isn't it? Uh, I don't see it, so it doesn't matter. Alright, get all of our guys together, get ready for a heal. Let's go for the flame fire spy king of candies. Oh, this guy is taking like way too much damage. Doesn't matter if the infantry get killed, because they can be replaced super quickly, but it does matter if the constructs get killed. Okay, we've got plenty of winds of magic again. Where should we cast? I think I might just try to slow down the enemy a little bit with the, with the debuff. Shadow Warriors ran out of ammo, it's fine. Yeah. Don't worry too much about killing Tyrion. Lord Sniping on whatever difficulty is not really that viable, and he's such a tank, he'll just, yeah, he'll just tank us for ages. Focus on their high quality damage units. Oh, Tyrion's here anyway. Well, winning the battle at a cost. At a cost. Just keep them alive. And these, I suppose. Which is good that he's got that reanimate. Keep getting a little bit more regen. Did we just inflict the army losses? We did. Alright, so not all of our infantry got wiped out. Two will remain. Yeah, that's gone. But at least we won. Uh, did we even kill the Frostheart Phoenixes? Probably not. 
Move them over here to get into better range and just shoot it whatever we can. Now, I think we're in friendly territory, so regenerating is not super important because they didn't actually take that much damage. But yeah, the infantry got fucked. Yeah, definitely don't want to deal with Sisters of Avalon again. But I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up. Should have been casting this. Might be a bit too late. Oh, uh, they might make it. So this will probably end up being a Pyrrhic victory, because it'll say that we've lost like 90% of our army. Because these only count as like one. Yeah. Even though the most valuable units are still alive, it'll, yeah, it'll say we, uh, we nearly lost that one. But like I said, the, it all comes down to priority on the campaign map, right? You don't want to sacrifice your best units at the start. And that's something that the AI does quite a lot. They, they throw their cavalry at the start because they're, you know, expensive or whatever. Now, we didn't kill any of the phoenixes. But the good news here is that that other army will be able to come in and help us and finish the, the job. So, everything all looks pretty good there. It doesn't look like you need money, but campaign movement range helps. So yeah, this is not a disaster campaign. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, you're not in friendly territory either. Thought you might have been. You know, I've never actually played a Tomb King campaign this far into it. And I love the Tomb Kings. I don't think the Empire would be that much of a threat because you've more or less kicked them out of there and they're not very useful in Norska. So yeah, that army does come in and reinforce. So what do you got here? Find my harem. Yeah, hiring whatever you can. Some, there's some good stuff in here. I think you'd actually be able to order resolve that easily enough. And with this, do you have? Let me have a look at your skills. So you do actually have lightning strike. So yeah, you could finish the job. But he got replenishment. So that's why I was like, I really did want to kill them, but they, they routed. Would have been nice if he had wounded him as well. He's at bloody full health. And this one here. You know what? This guy here, my... Does he have lightning strike? No. Well, I'll let you handle it. This is clearly not a disaster campaign. Um, my job here is done. We probably would have been better off tactically not to have fight, fought that battle if we had withdrawn. Uh, it just depends, I suppose, if it was... Um, if Tyrion would have been able to pursue us, I have no idea. That's some of the things with these disaster battles. I don't know what the context is with the, with the campaign most of the time. Um, but anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time, fuckers.